Hello everybody. Today we have a project to film for a client. Uh, the client is Temple University and it's the third year in a row that we're filming their graduation ceremony. So it's a small anniversary for ourselves too. Huge construction happening in Shibuya Crossing right now. So every time I walk through there and film something, I feel like this might be the only time to take this very specific shot of the of the environment because it changes literally week to week. It looks different. The party is at the Prince Hotel in Shinagawa. Shinagawa is a part of Tokyo that I often forget about. I forget that it exists, but then you realize it's one of the probably biggest commercial centers in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a Shiba. Shiba is the, the dog from the, the meme. <laughs> it's the, bre the memeable breed of the dog. Many people say Shiba Inu dog. Which is wrong because Ino means dog in Japanese, so you're basically saying Shiba dog dog. Sounds kind of cool. Which is right for this type of dog, I think. Shiba dog dog? I think dog? this dog should be called Shiba dog dog. Okay, we're done. We filmed the graduation ceremony of the university. Uh, it was pretty fun. It was a lot of fun actually. Uh, I couldn't bear myself to, to, to film during that because vlogging during filming is too complicated for me. It's like the same part of your brain getting occupied for two tasks at the same time. So it's kinda... I have no mu not much to say about graduations. You didn't go to yours. No, I didn't go to my university one, but I went to my high school and okay. grade one, kindergarten, Polish school. I went to a lot of graduations. I didn't even... So I had Polish school, two of them, then kindergarten, uh, high school, grade school, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is five. And then I spoke at one graduation, so I went to six graduations, and then my siblings. So I did a lot of graduations. Oh, and then I used to play in bands, so I was in every graduation every year. I think that's way too much information. <laughs> that's a lot of graduations. <laughs> well, I didn't go to any. Only this three times what already. What about your high two school times. one? Uh, it's just like the end of the school year. Nothing special. You guys want to do a ceremony? Mm -hmm. I'm a bachelor of... Science, Culture studies. But it's but Bachelor I, of Arts or Bachelor of Science and then the degree is under that. Okay, well I have no idea what I am. This is a Bachelor of Science. I'm nobody. I don't think there's a ceremony like that. You have an obrona? Like, so yeah, you yeah, yeah. One of the people who graduated this year from Temple is Olaf, who used to be an intern in our company. Would you like some tea? I, I prefer green tea. Okay. That's it for this project. We have another client coming. We have another client coming up tomorrow. Two clients tomorrow. Yeah. I well, one really. Well, kind of two. It's a busy day. It's gonna be a busy week. How is it that we're so much less interesting in English? <laughs> I, I mean, I have an and excuse. I have an excuse by being limited by my, my language ability. Well, oh, like that's my excuse in Polish. <laughs> but you're cooler. Works the Polish. other way. I don't know. I think I'm actually cooler in English, but I'm so cool that the average person doesn't see how cool I am. Should I be more expressive? I find YouTube style expressiveness to be very annoying. I have a very limited range of emotions in English. Everything's like flat for me. I have a limited range of emotions, period. <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 
to make up for our lack of expressiveness, we have to add visual comedy to our vlog. Ah. <laughs> That's us. I hate how crowded Tokyo is. We walked from Harajuku to Yoyogi Park, which is a very nice spot. Yoyogi Park. <laughs> Yoyogi Harajuku Park. is like crazy packed and impossible to get through. Yoyogi Park is very nice. And it's the theme of everything on the weekend. It's crazy packed and impossible to get through. This is my newest photography find. When you see sun streaks on the ground, that means you should walk into them and then you'll see a cool uh, light. I have no vocabulary for this, but you know what I mean. This is the best thing you can do in Tokyo. Just go to a park. Relax. The most relaxed in Japan because people work so hard here and they're always in a rush. Well, in Tokyo, I mean, they're always in a rush. So if you want to see them relax and be like happy, then you should go to the park. So, them, I mean, what's up? Uh, that you changed the graffiti. There's a lot of walk bridges in Tokyo and this is the coolest one I think because it's like among the treetops. The other ones you're just in the blazing sun you're like yeah I'm melting but this one feels like you're walking through a canopy, a forest canopy in the middle of the greatest metropolis on the planet. Ooh, I think the bugs are coming. Speaking of sky looking nice, this is something that has been really taken away from us by Instagram and post-producing pictures. I feel like whenever I see that the sky is looking amazing, I'm thinking it doesn't matter for Instagram because people make the sky look amazing even, even if it doesn't in real life. And it's really depressing because you can't really post nice looking sky anymore. Most skies on Instagram are fake! I have a call to action. If you're looking at an Instagram photo and you think the sky is fake, hashtag, use hashtag fake sky and we'll go through and check out photos of fake skies and pick our favorite ones for the next episode. Wow, social media ninja. I don't know what's happening. It's like they're kind of partying but kind of not. <laughs> it's like people are not sure if they're partying or not, so they're like, but I can't look away. <laughs> they're like partying just a bit, so that just in case of trouble, they can say they they were not partying. There are two undeniable upsides to ketogenic diet. One is nuts. The other one is cheese. Macadamia nuts, they're so fucking good. Let's go out. It's kind of tight. We have to sit next to each other because the... Table is the walkway to the back of the restaurant. I am struggling to think of ketogenic meals in Japan, but... But this is actually a jackpot. It's a version of Korean barbecue called samgyeopsal, which is pork, uh, like bacon, something like that. It's a pretty fatty, fatty piece of the of, of the pig. So it's just meat, no no carbs, and a lot of vegetable sides. Finally, I can eat something. <laughs> I'm tired of leaving rice on the side. A bite of cheese for. 40 yen, 40 cents. Oh my gosh, I need to try it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Show us what you got, dear devil. 